I think it was really clear that I wanted to keep talking in that last lecture because carriers are really cool. And this is all facilitated diffusion. So the only difference is whether we're going through a carrier or whether we're going through a channel. Carriers, here's the take home message. They are only open to one side at a time. Okay, think about that. I think of carriers as little like Pac-Man things that can open in to the cell or they can open out of the cell. They can't be open to in and out both at the same time. Contrast that with the channel. The channel is a tube. And when the tube is open, if it's a gated channel and that channel is open, it's a direct path between the extracellular fluid and the intracellular fluid. Which one's gonna be faster, do you think? Is it gonna be faster for molecules to move through a channel or through a carrier? Channels are faster. In fact, there are water channels that allow, I don't know, it was like within one second, like a hundred million, I can't remember what the fact was. It's something absurd how quickly water can move in and out of a channel um, as opposed to a carrier that has to change its conformation in order to move something through. And really, carriers move things through like one at a time. Channels move things through one at a time, but you can get a really fast line, right? You can get, like, everybody can crowd into line together, and they might have to go through single file, but everybody's trying to get through, and they can make it happen. The carrier is like, oh, like that roundy round door where, you know what, if that thing fills up, okay, that was a bad example, but it has, you have to get all the way through. Everybody has to get all the way through before the next group can get back in. Did you, like, what? Nobody knows what I just said. Okay, so we now have a sense of why carriers are different than channels, but they're doing the same thing. So we're just moving molecules. In this case, we're moving the green things. You can see here, we've got a green thing going in. Usually, in a carrier, the molecule that's being moved has a binding site in the carrier. And the carrier, what is it? It's a protein. That's what the channel is too. Channels are proteins. And often when something binds to a protein, it changes its shape. So the molecule binds to the carrier protein that changes its shape. And that the shape change usually opens the molecule, the carrier, to a different direction. We're now facing inside or outside, opposite of what we were, and the binding site usually goes away. <laughs> Once the binding site goes away, the molecule falls off and is now in on the other side of the cell membrane. All of our carriers work the same way. These guys just do facilitated diffusion because they're moving molecules down their cell membrane down their concentration gradient through the cell membrane. Okay, let's talk about active transport next.